Planetarium in Flint, and we're going to the City Hall in Flint. We're going to hopefully meet the mayor, Mayor Weaver, and we will be meeting Dr. Pamela Pugh, who is the Chief Public Health Advisor for the City of Flint. She's going to have a few impactful statements for our students and uh, tell us what's been going on as far as the Flint water crisis, if things have turned around, what type of transformations have actually occurred. told her that she wanted someone here in Flint City Hall that could help to advise her on the public health threats as well as how do we address the public health needs and how do we get ourselves out of this public health crisis. And so I'm Agapito Mora from Arthur Hill High School and today we had went to the Flint Planetarium and they had did a whole show on the stars and the black holes and comets and everything there. and. After that, we had came to the Flint City Hall and we had met with the mayor and the chief of health to ask questions about the whole Flint water crisis and what they're doing. And the best part was probably the, the planetarium because it was nice to see all the stars and everything, especially since we don't see too much of that around the city for um, all the light pollution. The water drive was real nice, especially since there are so many people who weren't able to get any more water, bottled water, because um, the government had stopped providing it and you know it was just a nice feeling being able to help all the people that were in need. Hi, my name is Jessica and today my class and I went to the Longfield, the Longfield Planetarium and it was quite an interesting experience because I've never been there before. We have been able to come to Flint because we've been working very hard on getting water collected to help the city, which is quite an, an inspiring idea because it came from one of my most helpful teachers. My name is Chaya Cosby. When we went to the planetarium and there was like this dome room and she showed us, a, the lady showed us a bunch of constellations. I used to want to be an astronomer so I really like looking at the stars and stuff. But there's too much light pollution for me to look at them from my place. The water drive to me, first off, it meant a lot because, well, when I was younger my mom gave me tap water and my formula from Flint. And she still suspects that even before the water crisis came to light, that there were still high lead levels because me and my brothers tested for high lead levels when we were younger. And she thinks it might be the cause of my epilepsy. So I don't want that to happen to anybody because I know lead is a neurotoxin and epilepsy is centered in the brain. It's like uncontrolled brain activity. And my little cousins live here and they're really young, so I know they're really susceptible to the effects of lead. And I don't want that to happen to anyone at all. My name is Amari Johnson. I'm from Martha Hill High in Saginaw, Michigan. We went to the planetarium first, seeing the um, the video on uh, violent, uh, the violent universe. And it was real cool. It was the big dome thing in, here in Flint. And yeah, the best part of the day is probably either coming here or the planetarium because either coming here because we get to learn about what's going on, the background about all the stuff that's going on here in Flint, how they um, trying to fix everything that's going on. It was listening. And I remember even while I was campaigning, I remember having a press conference saying, I'm not having this press conference as a candidate for mayor. I'm having it as a clinical psychologist because I knew I had a moral and an ethical responsibility to speak out about lead poisoning because I knew firsthand the damage that it does to uh, infants and, and kids that are under the age of six with developing brains, pregnant and nursing women. Uh, we didn't know at that point the impact on 
and seniors and those with compromised immune systems. We, we came to learn those things. But it was really uh, believing that I could make a difference and wanting to put people first and not money. So though that was that was how I got involved. It was accidentally. And um, you know, I remember some people trying to say, well, you haven't been in politics, you don't have the right kind of experience. I said, well, I don't have experience in experience poisoning people. Yeah, you're right. Um, and so one of the things I, I learned even at this stage of the game in my life is don't let people underestimate you. Don't let them tell you you can't do something because of experiences that you have. So don't let someone say, oh, well, you, you majored in this, so you can't do that. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes you, you other things, other life experiences, and other uh, jobs prepare you for something that you never anticipated. And so that's something that I think you should all, you know, take that away. felt really cool. I like seeing women of power just walk into the room and just own it. Like her presence was just so big. I want to be like that someday. Also, like I said, I like her outfit. She seemed really nice. And she seemed like she really cares about the residents of Flint. Doing the water drive makes me feel very helpful. It makes me feel like I'm helping people that do not have all of the resources that they need to help themselves. It's very exhilarating in how it makes me feel when I'm helping the community and the surrounding communities. I feel that us doing it was like good for us because you know sometimes you got a bad reputation about doing some stupid stuff but now that we're doing the water drive is reflecting back on us that they actually care, other people care, and we do care about the situation that's going on in Flint, because most of us got family that's, that live here, so why not help the next man? So we had two different locations we went to. First one, we went to the Flint Longway Planetarium. Um, where the kids got to see one of the best planetariums that Michigan has to offer. Learned about the universe, black holes, our solar system, different earth science related topics as well. Uh, after we left there, we went to City Hall in Flint where we met Mayor Weaver, uh, Dr. Pamela Pugh, and they all spoke on the impact that they've had on uh, Flint as a whole as far as the Flint water crisis, what they've done to change things. Um, what they're trying to do to transform Flint and bring back that trust. So, yep, it was a great event for all students. They learned a lot. And more important than anything, they learned from a social justice perspective. So I'm expecting these to be the students who one day, uh, they'll make a difference in their own community.